Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how you can create this little tool that highlights any selector on the page and shows you the tag, the ID, and the class of the element. And when you click on the element, it copies the info onto the clipboard and disables itself. So now let's get into the prompt. So for the first part of the prompt, we're asking ChatGPT to create a button. And when the button is clicked, it should create this red line that highlights any selector that the cursor is over. And with that, it should create a tooltip that displays the tag name, the ID, and the class of the element. Then it should copy that information onto the clipboard. We also ask to implement a hotkey feature, giving us the ability to hit Control M to enable this tool without having to click on a button. And then finally, for the second half of the prompt, we just provide ChatGPT with a blueprint to follow. Okay, so it looks like our code is done. Let's copy the code. And then let's right click, select inspect. Let's head over to the console, paste the code and hit enter. Okay, so it looks like it's already enabled. It's highlighting every element here on this page. Um, let's scroll down to the text area and see if we click on it, if it's going to paste the text area information. Okay, and it looks like it does, which is a good start. However, I'm noticing that it's not disabling itself after clicking the item, and it's also not showing us the tooltip. And because of that, no matter what area we select, uh, if we try to paste it here in the text area, it's always going to just paste the information that's in the text area because it's highlighted. Okay, so now let's give this page a refresh so we can get rid of this code. And now let's type this into ChatGPT. I am not seeing the highlight elements on the mouse hover. I would also like to give the user functionality to toggle it on or off. When on and the user clicks on the element, it should get toggled off after the info gets copied into the clipboard. Provide the full JS code. Okay, so let's copy the code. Right click, select inspect. Let's head over to the console, paste the code and hit enter. Okay, so now let's scroll down. And see in the bottom left here, we have the toggle highlighter button. Let's click on that. Okay, so now our highlighter is on. Now let's click on a specific element to see if it disables itself. And it looks like it does. Okay, so now let's paste the information to see what we get. So it looks like it pasted the correct information. Now let's double check by selecting another element. Let's select this element here. And now let's paste it to see if we get the right information. All right, so it looks like it's working. So we're still missing the tooltip that needs to be displayed whenever we hover over anything. So let's type, I'm not seeing the tooltip follow the cursor. Please make sure to include the following and make sure it works properly as I mentioned in the earlier prompt. Create and style the tooltip element function to display tooltip near the cursor. Okay, so the code is done. Let's copy the code. Let's refresh the page. Right click, inspect. Go to console and paste the code. Okay, so now let's test it. Okay, so I'm gonna hit control M this time to see if that works. And it looks like it does. <laughs> so it looks like we have some progress, but um, it looks like it's drawing all over the screen here. Um, so let's just refresh the page to get rid of all of this and let's type. The tooltip keeps drawing on the screen and then eventually removes itself. Only the element that is currently displayed should be consistent in view. Provide the full code. Alright, so our code is done. So let's copy the code and let's test it. Okay, so I'm going to hit Control M and there goes our tooltip feature. So that's working. So now let's click a specific area to see if we can get the proper element to get copied over to our clipboard. Okay, and that's working. Um, let's just try one more element. Let's try this paragraph here. Okay, yep, that's working too. 
just keep in mind that you can add on top of this code you can ask it to provide you the x path for any element or the css selector whatever you may like you can just add it into the code and from there you'll get any information you would like to be displayed or even copied onto the clipboard okay so great so now let's see if we can head over to a new chat and make this code into a bookmark let's copy the code let's type turn this code into a bookmarklet okay our code is done okay I'm just gonna enable my bookmark bar and now let's copy the code and bookmark it let's click on more and then let's just paste the code inside here save great so now we save this code as the bookmarklet so now the question is how do I use this tool Whenever you're creating scripts, you always have to go into the developer tools just to figure out what the button name is or uh, how you can interact with this specific element. And what this does, it just creates that shortcut where you can kind of just select the element and it just copies the information onto your clipboard. So for example, we're going to see if we can type something into the text area uh, with a script. So with the tool enabled, let's click on the text area. So now let's paste the info and let's just remove this area here. Then let's type generate JS code that will insert the prompt into the element below. Hello world. I will be pasting the code into the console for testing. So here's the code. I'm just going to use my tool here to inject it into the console, but you can just copy the code and paste it inside the console and hit enter. And it looks like we got a prompt, not exactly what we were looking for. Um, and when we type in hello world, uh, nothing happens. I'm just going to take a little look in the console here. Yeah, well, let's just refresh the page. Let's click on our bookmark to add the tool. And that's not working. Uh, so it looks like I forgot to remove the comments when saving the bookmark. So just something to keep in mind when you guys are saving or converting this into a bookmark. Remember to just have ChatGPT remove all the comments. That way you guys don't run into this issue. But for now, I'm just going to go right back up to the code here and inject it myself. Let's enable the tool. And let's click in the text area again. This time, all we're going to use is the ID to reference this object. Now we're going to type generate JS code that will insert happy coding into the element below. Okay, so there's our code. I'm just going to hit my injection tool, but you can just copy it into the console and it looks like it's working. And so that's how you can use this tool to grab any information you want from the element without having to go into developer tools. So just remember, you can add anything you want to this base script. Uh, you, if you want more information, less information, it's up to you. And you can use this tool on any website. So you can go to google.com, for instance, and enable it. Now, Google is a bit weird because they love to change their, um, their element names. So you might have to tweak the code around to make this work. But for any other website, you shouldn't have a problem okay so that's it um, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial if you found it helpful don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I hope you can add this tool to your web development toolkit if you guys have any questions or suggestions for future videos feel free to leave them in the comments thanks for watching until next time